Okay, there we go. I think we are on. Audio is working. Just gotta check and make sure I can hear myself. Good, good. Alright, uh, topic for tonight has been tails, whether or not they're more useful for balance or grabbing or catching some. Hansel, yeah, catching things. Or if it doesn't matter. Um... So yeah, that's our pregame discussion apparently. Uh, yep. Tonight is uh, our twenty third session. Uh, this is uh, Survivors of Gashale episode twenty three. Are you alone? Um, no, I'm with my friends and my hot reborn girlfriend. <laughs> no, I'm with rolling my... things apparently. <laughs> I didn't touch anything. I'm, I'm with my two adopted daughters right now and a whole bunch of people. <laughs> One of them's a bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, you forgot. Yeah, you're three. You're three kids. One of them is. She's fine. She's. I mean, honestly, she's technically a middle school senior. So what middle school? That's, yeah, and you're dealing. Sad. You're dealing with Callie, who is like a freshman. Right. <laughs> so, so you got a got, high school freshman and a middle school senior. Yeah, they're gonna be butting heads. <laughs> and then you got Milo. Milo. Marcus. Yeah. Who's, he's not here. He's not. You got Marcus, <laughs> who's watching over them, who's basically like a college junior or senior he's like oh my gosh i have to babysit these three yep mm -hmm. and then he got down I mean, and then good old dalia who is i i don't know if maybe an how, hour old. how tails work I... nope that's a reference markham oh it is yes it is what, what was wait what did it say <laughs> it's a dragon ball reference tail allows you to turn into a giant ape when you see the full moon <laughs> that's a dragon yeah. ball reference yeah oh. that's a, how do you not get that that's a dragon ball reference uh, i haven't seen it <laughs> Markham? Mark, we're going to have a talk of how many anime you've seen. Because Markham, I, I haven't seen Dragon Ball. Um, I, I have haven't watched, seen Dragon Ball to completion. I've watched Spy Family. I have okay. watched... Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite caught up on the new season of Demon Slayer, but I will get there. Um, I kind of stopped watching well. that. Uh, Fruits Basket. I love Which that one? one. That one's great. Which one? The, the revamp or the older one? I think we've seen both. Okay. Um, I know I've seen the revamp. Um... Dude, Fruit Basket is great. And uh, I don't remember the names of the other two. So you haven't seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? No. I haven't seen Full Metal Brotherhood Alchemist. Uh, I'm Full going Brotherhood to even Alchemist. say it. No, I can't. I don't care. <laughs> okay, I'm dragging both of you to Wyoming and making you watch Does JoJo count Tragic. as anime or what is that it, exactly? Yes. I mean, it technically counts. Okay, then JoJo. It's just stylized. It is very stylized anime. Yeah. Naz is completely but, lost. No, I'm gonna okay, no. I do not find this acceptable. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring all two of you both of you. All I don't two. know if Naz is, I don't know if Naz is into anime, so I don't want to push her. But I'm, I'm gonna exempt. Bring oh, I'm gonna my hero. This. My hero, that was another one. My hero. So I'm gonna bring yeah. you you Markham and you Selkie to Wyoming. I'm gonna make you watch all Post the club. anime classics. Post club. Magic. Okay, you redeemed yourself a little bit with that one. I've host seen that. Amazing. Wait, what? <laughs> host club. We're on high school host club. Oh, high school host club. I just heard host club, and I was like, which? You know, that is which the one. one? <laughs> that is which, the which one? That's also getting a revamp, and I'm very excited for that. I guess like, we've seen is... the original of host club. Yeah. No, well, well, I hope so because the revamp hasn't come out yet. Yeah, we've seen the original. <laughs> I've seen the revamp, but then I travel back in time, so I'm not going to see back in time. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I, dude, I need to show you Trigon. Like, I legit need to show you Trigon. It's one of my favorite animes of all time. Okay. And then, surprisingly, Trigon Stampede because I was actually surprised by how good that was. And then I will show you all the 90s ones because I haven't been fully committed to anime since, like, 2008. Ooh, I can help with that. I can help with all the 90s I'm going to show you all the shit ones. I'm going to show you D and Angel. Really? Okay. All right. <laughs> just, uh, just don't show them Bible Black. That's all. 
That's all I'll say. Dean Angel is that fun fact. Dean Angel is the first anime that I've ever seen. Really? Really? Yes. I mean, mine was technically Dragon Ball, although I didn't know it was anime, so I don't know if that counts, but it was Dragon Ball Z was my first anime. Nope. Dean Angel was the first anime that I ever seen because I was really into I was a Warrior Cat kid. And uh, the intro to the intro to D and Angel was used in a really popular AMV. So I was like, I really like this song. Where is it from? And then I then everything spiraled. Yeah. I joined an anime club in high school, freshman year. And that's when it really went down. <laughs> Sorry, Born Stellar. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Angel is really good, but it is very dated. It is very dated. I still make quotes to it every time because, like, you know, you never forget your first. It's very good. It's just very dated. It was one of those animes that definitely plays into the tropes. It. I will have to check it out then. I know Kayla loves... We've really been enjoying Spy Family. That's one absolutely adorable show. That is definitely one of my I need to, I need to watch modern anime. Spy Family because I've heard nothing but good things I about need it. To, we're going to rewatch it because after how our week has been, we could use the positivity. It's the first show I've watched in a while where it... It has almost a D and D campaign vibe because you're so focused on the characters, you're not yeah. too freaked out by who's gonna live and who's gonna die. It's just I'm watching these characters develop, and it's so sweet. Yes, there's imminent death around every corner every now and then, <laughs> but you don't feel intimidated by it. It's that was not a like every segue. waiting second someone you know and love could die. That was a I wonderful mean, our... segue into actually why we're here and it's played D and D. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those are the best D&D campaigns when, like, the everything can be happy, and then, like, when it's serious, it's serious. Mm -hmm. Like, those listen, are the best listen, ones. Listen, and then we get into our feelings, and then I get sad, and then one of my characters becomes a child, and then... <laughs> and then one of my characters has just... Uh, <laughs> Drama loses shit? everyone. He'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least he didn't give in to a book called The Book of Vile Darkness. That, that, the Book of it. Vile Darkness. You know... At least he's not, you know, wholly devoted to to any one individual thing. It's he's just kind of like hanging chill. Um, um well, eh, mm. eh. <laughs> like he, he's still like I want my friends, but he's like he's less stupid about it. If right. that makes sense. Yeah, I mean he's not like blindly devoted himself to anything or anyone. Well, <laughs> so it could be made. <laughs> so he with the well. Bes besides the other never mind okay so um <laughs> before we go off on a really long tangent um uh, about yeah. the home game <laughs> about uh, yeah about the home game um the prequel game which is what this is here uh we should get underway with that so where we left off was marcus callie and naz's other character because i pulled a fast one and made her think she had to create a new character and then psych you're still <laughs> playing abigail so well, you did make me create i don't think i i don't think i made you you had already created the character and you're like so now that abigail's gone i can play this one <laughs> i've made her okay continue <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to argue because we've already tangented for so long continue there. yeah we um, tangented it for like 20 minutes you we took did. up on my arguing we... time no <laughs> hey this is how we get naz to listen and behave smart you take go. up all the tangent time <laughs> uh so uh I, yeah um our lovely little reborn will just disappear into the ether for the foreseeable future i'm kidding you can you can still play her um <laughs> so uh the reborn dahlia was kind of birthed out of this well ritual that abigail okay. was leading what nothing go on okay your frankenstein moment yes it was a very frankensteinian moment i wouldn't call that birthing though she was born it was her birthday thank you yes <laughs> today is her birthday today is her well, birthday yes it's I like the end of the day old. she <laughs> was created mm -hmm. yep it's her birthday the day she was birthed <laughs> you're really on your side 
I don't know what Yuri's on your side about, but apparently she's on your side. Why are you yes, on Naz's side? Yes, as you should be. I'm right. <laughs> All the Doesn't time. Doesn't matter about what. <laughs> Just I'm right. <laughs> Always. Truly. It's, it's so rude. Um. <clears throat> so, yeah, Abigail uh, assisted this necromancer in running a ritual to open portals to different parts of the world and different eh, parts of the omniverse um kind of let a flood of demons through let a flood of Oops. uh multi-dimensional invaders from a different omniver uh from a different universe through she sort of got betrayed by her mentor uh she sort of betrayed him got him service uh got him stuck in indentured servitude to a demon uh Whoops. he got her turned to obsidian which basically turns her soul into a battery pack for demons uh except while she was in the abyss she kind of got sucked back out she woke up to find herself needing to breathe all her tattoos gone um wearing just kind of rags and in this kind of weird tube thing um yeah, I know. An evil dude betrayed an evil chick. Who would have thought? Who could have thought? <laughs> thought? Double betrayal, too. Yeah. Double betrayal. Yeah. Double cross. She betrayed it literally her. happened she at the same her. time. Like, it was yeah. crazy. Who would have expected it? She double crossed his double cross. It's yep. amazing. It was a double double cross. It was madness. Yep. Yeah. It was... So she would currently be Bush. stuck there along with the eight kids that she sacrificed but they all got sucked back out and wound up in new bodies in a new location um she was let out of the tube uh gasping for air for the first time in her life being a damp here this was a weird experience for her her skin was several shades darker um her fangs were gone she needed to breathe very uncomfortable situation and the woman who let her out and proceeded to start comforting her was a slightly younger version of a woman she had murdered to bring her sister back to life earlier in the campaign. Isn't Abigail lovable, guys? Is it, is it <laughs> lovable? <laughs> Sacrifices I mean, eight kids and her sister's girlfriend to save... Okay, they're not eight kids. Some of them were kids. They were Just all saying. kids. I no, mean, we can ask Marcus like if Abigail is lovable. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Oh, just this, said. This, this Abigail is sarcastically lovable. Yes, yes. Sarcastically yeah. lovable, yes. Um, so the fun thing for Abigail is now she is in a room with the nine subjects that she had previously sacrificed, also all alive again. <laughs> and she thought the abyss was as bad as it could get for her. <laughs> she also is an undead supremacist who believes in vampire oh, rule, essentially. And Vampire now she's theory. alive, completely, just fully human. So I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time, and this dates back all the way to like session three. Oh boy! So I have had this. Oh worse. dear! <laughs> you guys, you guys remember? I had you roll a random perception check that first night you slept on the beach, and you all failed. No. Nope. No one remembers that? Okay. No. Nope. For the sun being red? No, no, it was it was it was that night. It was when everyone went to sleep. I didn't sleep, but I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, yeah, yeah. Um anyhow, let's move on. No spoilers. So, without further ado, let's pick up with um Oh, let's do let's do the the trio. Um as you uh, guys have a Hold on, I gotta let my wife in really quick. I think I locked the glass by accident. Okay, in that case, Gosh. let's start with Abigail. Free the wifey. <laughs> so while he goes to save his wife, who is trapped outside oh, in the frigid she's fine. ice. Never mind, um, she's, fine. she's fine. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's not do Abigail. You guys are making it hard on me. Please, I'm oh. already so <laughs> in shambles. Just, <laughs> Just pick one. Go All easy right. on me, okay? We're going to start with Callie, Marcus, and Dahlia. All right, here we go. Um, you right. guys have made it out of the castle. You've made it down the hill. 
you guys have a general bearing of where you are because as you got outside the castle, you're like, oh, okay, I know where we are. Because down there Holy was the, sh- the the fort you stayed in that first night and everyone got like slaughtered. Um, to the right, Ellie's you have... finally escaped containment. Right? <laughs> containment After breach. three months. Uh, He's escaped containment. She finally did. It took, it She's took becoming her... an SCP. She... <laughs> <laughs> she is. Um, Hear me. To your right, you have that that massive lava plain with the large castle and uh, the area where Callie met a certain special someone named Deidre. You're going to make me conflict ago. lovers now? Um, <laughs> so yeah, what would y'all like to do? You guys are free and clear. Uh, you have two skeletons in tow now who are lovingly following along with Dahlia. Who is apparently yeah. their sister somehow? Yes. Uh, Marcus would probably <laughs> just be, for the first time in a while, genuinely like, kind of relaxing. Although his form of relaxing, so he's on like a uh, some sort of rock or something, and he's just reading a tome or reading a history book or something. He's just calmly reading. Finally, like. Being able to looking up occasionally to make sure there's no sort of demon or anything coming to attack. All uh, right. So far, so good. You know, and obviously just making sure no one causes any trouble. So far, not good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, he also misses Cervantes. Like I miss him making some oh. kind of trouble. <laughs> so Proteus Wellington. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, Callie, mm. what would you like to do? You're now free. You have your bearings. Hi, wifey. It's wifey. Hi, Hello. wifey. Hi, gorgeousnesses. I love Hello. you. I love you, Hello. too. <laughs> I love, love you. you. <laughs> Everyone loves you, especially Selkie. She said it a lot of times. I do. I love her a lot. <laughs> okay. I have to flirt with all of my friends' wives. I have to do it. Uh, Selkie has to flirt with all my her friends' wives, so she's gonna flirt with you, but baby, <laughs> sounds great. She says, "Hell yeah, glad I have consent. All works <laughs> out." Yeah, no, honey, we know you're not straight. Come <laughs> Any whore, and... uh, Callie is probably chewing some glass. One of her her glass gum bubbles. She blow. She's finally able to blow gum. <laughs> and she's she's probably just looking around. She's probably feeling a little weirded out by the fact that she's back here after she's made such like hard moves against Dahlia. These are hard moves for a fourteen year old. So there's like nothing happening. <laughs> yeah, just awkward eye contact. <laughs> okay, cool. I gave her all the signals. How did she not know? And Marcus just looks at them both and goes, "They're getting along. Awkwardly. They're she's getting like... along." That's great. <laughs> you all know when you were 14, you were like, I gave her all the signals. How did she not know I liked her? And I'm just staring awkwardly. I was too nervous to give any signals. Are you kidding? Exactly. <laughs> Callie, is, Callie is fully embracing the fact that she might be a lesbian. Um, Hold on. Let me let me see if Marcus actually can. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, he got a freaking. Uh, what's his perception? 20. Four on that, so he knows the strange. I was like, and of course, he rolled a nat one on insight. Freaking idiot! Has no idea why. He She's goes, staring at her. Has no idea why. He goes, uh, Callie, huh? Uh, are you all right? You're kind of just staring into oblivion. Um, uh, are, are you all right? Uh, is it? Like, are you waited out by Dahlia? Like, yeah, she's on there, but she seems pretty nice. No, Dahlia, Dahlia's, Dahlia's great. Dahlia's wonderful and beautiful, and we love her so much. Yeah. Um, yeah, everything, everything's, everything's great. Everything's fine. Um, uh, do you need to talk about anything? I am here for you if you want to talk about anything. Uh, 
I'm going to go see if there is some glass made over by the lava pit real fast. I'm going to be back. All right. Uh, yeah, just keep on the lookout, I guess. And yep, yep. Gotta keep an eye always... out. I'll catch up with you guys. Yep. Always here to talk. Oh, say hi to Dahlia for me, though. Nope, Dahlia's gonna Dahlia's gonna stay with you for a second. I'm gonna go. Oh, really? You two were yeah. being such great friends. If you'd like, I can. Oh no, she's she's great and everything, but you know, I she. She just got made, and I don't. She just, you know, it's her oh, birthday, and I don't want her getting hurt by the lava. Oh, I'll, Callie, I'll come on! Fine. She likes you. You two I, are very. You two are, look. No, no, no. Look, this is what I'm gonna do. I will let you and her go to the dam, go to the lava pit. Just you're you're on your fire. All right. So just make sure she don't get burned. What? Can you, Anyways, can you but, just just do me the solid and keep Dahlia with you for now? Because I just I really uh, don't want her to get hurt, and she's very tall, and I don't think I'll be able to get her. You know, uh, if something does happen, I mean, like I'll protect her with my life, but like. Uh, 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 all right. Yeah. No. I. I. I got. I got. Hey, Dahlia. Kind of pops up. She looks at. Uh, Marcus. Hey, why don't you come uh, sit by me for a little bit? Uh, I just it's your birthday, and I don't want you to get hurt. Nothing like that. I just. I don't know. Oh. See if okay. you have any questions about the world. Yeah. She kind of walks over and she kind of keeps holding her brother's hands. <laughs> the they're, 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 they're silently. <laughs> she got he no looks, clue what just happened. Like really, one of them looks is missing the... an arm. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks at the two skeletons, and you two are here. All right, all right. I can deal with it. I can deal with it. What's what? What's his domain again? Uh, life. Yeah. Oh, you he fucking a, hate that shit. He is a, yeah, no. But the life cleric of a nature goddess is just chilling with three undead. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, he doesn't know if Dahlia is like undead, undead, or like. Well, um, she was dead. Now she's not. So hey, hey a lot of people come back to life in the D and D world, and they're not undead. So, I mean, she's noticeably stitched together, though. I mean, he's trying not to look at that. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to, trying to avoid a little the green. Decision. The yeah. two skeletons, <laughs> though, are like harder to, to distinguish like, as alive. So he just looks. I'm also skeleton, assuming goes, she's not breathing. Not yeah, breathing. No organs. No nothing. At least Dahlia can like be somewhat classified as living. These these two can't. No, Dahlia's no. not breathing either. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, Marcus, you're just having a lot of issues. You just, you just don't look at it hard enough, and your goddess yeah. can't be mad at you. And to be fair, goddess probably doesn't even notice me anymore. Oh. I mean, to be now, fair, he did just witness his goddess, you know, kind of snogging with a demon. So uh, That's not even sorry, his goddess. Archdevil. Archdevil. To be, yeah, to so. be fair, it wasn't his goddess until that moment when he got kind of good boyed. So yeah. mm, no, that's my goddess. <laughs> Listen, switch like, sides. One, <laughs> one like good that boy is all just... it takes. Oh. One it good is. boy is all it takes to, to it is. defy a faith. Yep. <laughs> and he definitely found faith that day. Mm-hmm. Well, the poor guy lost it. His goddess had been silent for what, six months, nine months? Yeah, and he's li he literally thought it was because, oh, there's something blocking the door. No, it's just the goddess freaking sucks at returning phone calls. <laughs> it got like a thousand unread messages. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> but yeah, he'll just look at you and go, yeah, it's just you and your brothers can stay. And yeah, I can answer any questions you may have about the world since it is kind of your first birthday. And I don't know. Read you a story or something. I wish I could give you a gift, but uh, he'd kind of just look at his back. 
I got a Warhammer, a shield. Uh, saying this is saying this is I am actually looking at my inventory to see if he has anything. <laughs> is it daytime or nighttime? It's nighttime. I know a good gift. Oh, uh, all right, yeah. What kind of gift do you want? Do you remember the last time you had a dream? Yes. That was a couple you months should, ago. You should tell me what it was. And she kind of sits down cross-legged and waits. It, what? It, what? What it was. What it was? Uh, okay, yeah, he sort of remembers. He will just kind of think for a moment and go, well, all right. Uh, I can't remember very much. I, I mean, sometimes I can remember my dreams, sometimes I can't. Uh, out of curiosity, do you? Oh, wait, you haven't even really slept, so you don't really know if you dream or not. All right, I'm going to tell you a dream. All right. Uh, so I was sort of, I dreamed I was back at my home, right? It was a small town, nothing too much. And, uh, I was talking with the head priest, uh, Ezra, really nice guy, kind of cue ball kind of looking guy. He has hair here, so it makes up for that. Uh, I don't know. I dreamed. And he's like trying so hard to remember like the exact details. Mm -hmm. He can remember just like the general things. And I think if I remember correctly, there was there was something flying in the air. I, I can't remember whether or not it was a dragon or if it was just a pigeon. But uh <laughs> yeah, no, that's that, that's that's about it. It was it wasn't a very interesting dream. I've had other interesting dreams, but uh, I, I will say some of that appropriate for right now. But uh, you know, I, I'm sorry. I wish I had something better to tell you. But why do you do you not have dreams? She's like already like like I don't know if starry eyed is the right word, but she's like so interested. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> I've never had a dream before, but I don't know if I can sleep yet. I've never tried it. Well, I mean, to be fair, I didn't knew that, know this, uh, well, to be fair, I knew your mom, or one of your moms, Abigail, uh, still, bad, bad bitch, not good bitch, bad bitch, but, like, she could choose to sleep, so maybe you could do the same thing, like, maybe you can choose, like, hey, I'm gonna take a nap and see if you can dream. Oh, you think I could have good dreams? Yeah, I, I think you could. If, and again, I am assuming you can dream. I could be wrong about that. But if you could, I think you could have very well a good dream, a weird dream, or just normal dream. Wow. I hope everybody has really good dreams for mm -hmm. my birthday. <laughs> Oh, by the gods, what? this girl is so precious. <laughs> That's Marcus saying it. Not, not. <laughs> what, one is, of the other survivors is like, well, I know I'm going to be having a good sleep tonight. First night out Whoa. of the jaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that would be quite uncomfortable. You have no idea. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just glad all of you... So wait, how long were y'all stuck like that, though? I mean, not to bringing up any past traumas and all of those could be very bad. It's just like, yeah, how long were you guys there for? It must have been hell. Um, I need everyone to pick a span of time anywhere from and any amount of time you want. And on the count uh, of three, we all say it simultaneously. One, okay. two, three. Five two years. years. One month. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty what? much the answer you get. It's just a chorus of various oh, okay. dates. <laughs> Marcus nice. will kind of Marcus' face will kind of just droop and just like shock of this and go, oh, all right. Yeah, no, I'm glad y'all can have some sleep. Oh, gosh, that is terrible. Ten years, I can't even imagine that. Um, I, I said there's this one like older looking gnome in the back. Um, gnomes being immortal, she only looks like she's maybe 40 years old, but she has snowy white hair, which tells she's thousands of years old. She's, um, 
it was actually about 8,000 for me. 8,000? What? I was very fortunate. I did not end up in any of the more fatal experiments she had. That it. Most of it was because I was too small. Huh. But yes, long time to live in a jar. Yep, I, I yeah. No, if, gods, I, if I could do anything to help y'all sleep better, like, I can make, I mean, there's not very much in the way of bed rolls and all that, but I could try and make the ground a little bit more comfortable I don't for have guys. to smell the noxious potions being brewed, so I think this would be the best sleep I've had in a long time. Fair enough. I, I just, just ask for anything, if you need it. All right. Um, by the way, I may I just say, uh, you there, tall one, you are very sweet, and I appreciate the sentiments. Uh, I will definitely have good night's sleep and sweet dreams for your birthday. That's... Very good, very good. I'm glad to see the youth have been kind in this world after all these years. Marcus He's clearly just... a youth. <laughs> yeah. Normal youth. No. Normal youth. Uh, Marcus will just kind of start to tear up and like, oh my god, this is so adorable. <laughs> so, so Callie, as this wholesomeness is going on, where are you <laughs> going exactly? Yeah. Callie is, you said that towards, there was an area towards where she met Deidre? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. She's going to kind of wander her way over that a ways to okay. see if she could find her again. Give me a survival check. Sick. How good are we at survival? Not Nine. great. We're going to do it anyways. <laughs> Hell yeah. Seven. Okay. You wander for a couple of hours, and you're pretty sure you've oh, no. come <laughs> to the, the place where where you had that picnic with her. And okay. You're like, no, this is... This is definitely not it. Like, you're surrounded by lava? Yeah, weren't we, sure like, up on a hill, right and it was really cute and gay? Yeah, yeah. like, this you were following wrong. the base of it, and you're like, this'll, this'll lead me up to the hill, and it didn't, it just kind of kept trailing down a little bit more until you're like, I think I got a little turned around. I am lost um, again. The, oh. the looming form of the castle is still in the distance, um, quite noticeable. Mm-hmm. Uh, the you are you are definitely in the in the lava plains at this point. Um, Thick. Mm -hmm. You're not quite sure where you are, but you're not at the picnic spot. Well, problem. Potentially, we have encountered a problem. Um. Uh, fucking. Can I tr Hmm. I don't... I don't even know. I'm very lost. She's very lost. Again. Uh, she's gone for a couple of hours. <laughs> Shit. See, can I do anything? Do I have dope monk shit? Let's see. Do I have I dope monk shit? I do, but... Is it gonna help? I mean, yeah, dope monk shit is not gonna help me right now, and I have the tiniest of spells available to me. <laughs> the tiniest little baby spells. Now, 
Now Mark is going to have to come and find your ass again. <laughs> okay, so what do you have? Thick. I'm rigid. Don't. Don't locked. Um, can you give me a perception check? Okay, I can do a perception check. Perception. Not much better. <laughs> Hell yeah, six. Six? Okay. <laughs> We're doing great. So as you're, you're kind of 20. wandering around, like, okay... You're getting more and more turned around. All the only thing you now have a, a read on is the big looming castle um, at the far end of the lava plains. Um, you hear a little bit too late to hide the sound of wings flapping. Ah, beats. And I can't even hide, so I just have I just exist now. You're just kind of out in the middle. I mean, you yep. can try and hide, lay down and pretend to be lava. <laughs> lay down, and pretend to be lava. Jump right in the lava. They can't come get you. You're fine. <laughs> no, it's only a defense to fire. It's not an immunity okay. to fire. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. You're not immune. Never mind. I'm not immune to fire. Not a fire elemental, fire Jirashi. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Basically, instead of instantly melting, she'll just slowly melt. Yeah, I'm like... It's it'll be slow. some time before I start sweating. It's a slow roast instead of a burnt roast. Right. It's a slow burn. <laughs> so what would you like to do in preparation for whatever is coming uh i guess the only thing i can do is patient defense <laughs> all right um as you do that a number of uh winged creatures Fly over. Where did I put the things? Oh no, he's gonna whip out a card. Yes, I am. He's gonna whip out a card. And oh no, they do indeed spot you. Yeah. And change directions towards you. Great. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, Everything is coming up, Cali. <laughs> Is your characters have amazing luck? You know that. You know you gonna knock out this one too. <laughs> you know what? Might as well. No, you know, just clean sweep it. You know what? Just, just clean, clean sweep. sweep. You know, what? Sweep. You know okay. the the one Perot. moment you didn't eat, the one moment you didn't you couldn't roll in that one. You rolled in that one. Now I'm dealing with the dealing with the Costco situation. <laughs> right. Um, a number of uh, <laughs> give me a religion too. check. A religion? What do you think I am, a monk? I mean, to be fair, monks don't have to be religious. Hell yeah. Highest roll of the night. Thirteen. Thirteen? Is that great? Um, these look like, um, kind of... <laughs> great. They remind you a little bit of, um... Kind of like a winged dragonborn. Okay. You're not quite sure what they are. Okay. But they kind of resemble a winged dragonborn. And about six of them land around you. <clears throat> it's fine. Is it, though? They all have spears that they kind of point towards you. Great. Anything you want to do? No, I'm just patient defensing. I'm just... <laughs> what, of, <laughs> what languages do you speak? Oh, boy. Uh, common, Dwarvish, Infernal, and Primordial. Okay. I don't speak Celestial. <laughs> that is what you were asking me. <laughs> uh, one of them looks you up and down. And potentially okay. taking an educated guess as to what language you speak. I mean, primordial Agnes would make the most sense. It goes with infernal. Oh, <laughs> what? All right. <laughs> and you hear in, cool. in this guttural infernal, who are you? What are you doing here? 
and in infernal will respond. <laughs> With I came here looking for someone and I can't seem to find them. And now I'm trying to find my way back. Is there a problem? Yeah. You have interposed onto territory you do not possess. King will not be happy about this. Surrender and come quietly. Gonna look down at herself as she is fucking 14. Like, yeah, I don't own anything. You hear a familiar voice behind you. What are you doing? Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Callie! Deidre kind of like emerges from behind them. Deidre! Ooh, food! Thank I thought you. that was Deidre for a second. <laughs> no, Deidre does not like you and say food. <laughs> she jumps no. on you and begins to eat you. No. The end of Callie. Roll a new character. <laughs> Roll a new character. No, Time okay. to bring in my reborn. Wifey brought me um food. Mm. Which, in fact, I do have a reborn maid, and I've told you about her, but you probably forgot. That was... That was a mistake. Don't take a bite when you're in the middle of talking. Mm -hmm. um, Don't. You can only do one at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just figured that out. She goes, I'm, I'm so sorry about them. My father makes me travel with them now ever since an incident that happened recently i'm okay don't worry i'm all right um almost lost a hand but I'm, I'm fine but now he makes me travel with this entourage of stuffed shirts but how are you what's what's going on um i just uh, um i didn't think i was gonna see you i thought okay um I didn't think this through. She looks around. Are you alone? Um, she's gonna look around like, <laughs> um, currently, yes. That won't do at all. It's too dangerous. I'm... Well, I figured just little one solo me wouldn't be too much of a threat to anything going on there's you know a lot of things a lot of things have happened you figure just going solo might fly under the radar a little easier well tell you what you can come back with me and um Stay at stay at stay at the castle for a few days. It's it's much I'm, safer there. I'm sorry. Hold on. I just escaped a castle, and hopefully it's a. How do you, you um? You have the castle. Yeah, that one, that one up there. It's my father's castle. Did I not tell you that last time we met? Um. To be fair, we didn't do a lot of talking. Oh, that, that's true. She kind of blushes. <laughs> like this is so cute, but no, but no, <laughs> no, don't go to the castle. We just got out of a freaking castle. <laughs> Callie just wanders. <laughs> um, my child. <laughs> I can say because I'm raising what? my child. What the fuck? <laughs> Child, you left unattended. Um, Wait, it's just a the lava bed. I mean, I. It would be nice to be into a safer spot, and then with a few others. I mean, if you can offer us a good place to stay, I mean, like we could really use it. I mean, I haven't, I haven't been. I kind of left them a while ago. They're a bit 
the further back. Um, Do you know where they where they, where they are? Where, I, I can I can. Oh no! I, I, I any excuse to ditch these boys. Um, I can have them go. Um, well, guys, you have to be gentle with them, okay? You can't go around poking your stupid sticks at people. Gotta be polite. It's an invitation, not an arrest. You, um, know where, think, you know where they camped out? I don't think they've set up camp. I'm granted it's been a couple of hours. They might have. Um, They didn't go into lava pits. There's there's too many of the not like me um, who don't favor the fire. Well, I think we can arrange flight transport for them. That way they don't have to be near it. Okay. Does, does, okay, I'm sorry. Does Callie realize they're going to send demons uh -huh. to a group that has a cleric? <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. The sole she's, purpose she's is just, to wipe out demons. She's just chilling. <laughs> These people are definitely here to help. I mean, they're just like a little extra tiefling. So, like, whatever, right? Technically, they look more dragonborn, but yeah. Whatever. She's worked with Dragonborn. She's worked with Tieflings. This is like this is like the same thing, right? Oh, you're gonna give Mar people are gonna give Marcus a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Wellington Walking is gone. Teenagers. Sir Wellington is gone. Now Callie is gonna give him the heart attacks. Y'all were worried about the wrong kid. Actually, we should mm. still be very worried about Sir Wellington. He's got mm -hmm. secret names. You can't trust anybody with secret names. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is something we've Who learned. Who has connections in the Feywild? <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, then... <laughs> this sounds familiar. <laughs> um. Any whore. Yeah. Last last time we do each problems. Um. Mm -hmm. Any whore. Sorry, so really is going to be plot twist and it's actually over on Virgil. It's going to be like, bro. <laughs> Vodka. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Drink properly. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if if you can get them and we can and you can offer us a safe place, they they should be back. Um, I think. Well, we just escaped that castle. We got out of that one, and then we were headed. Um. Not. Um. I think. That way? Maybe? Like I said, I got a little lost. It's alright. You you boys can handle tracking and stuff like that, right? That'll be okay with you? <laughs> yeah, we can do that. We're supposed to keep an eye on you, though. Make sure you're not getting into trouble. Oh, I'll be fine. I'm always I'll, Besides, I'll... I have my... Yeah, I got my buddy Callie here. She, she looks after me. Yeah, I'll, I'll defend her. Kind of a badass. Just kind of grumbles in Infernal. <laughs> Watch your tongue. I know what you're saying. So do I. Let's see. Fucker. I speak Infernal. You don't look you it. You have a little bit more respect for a princess, but no. <laughs> she kind of chokes on her gum a little. She's <laughs> 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 spitting molten glass. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I think I'll be okay. I, mm -hmm. okay. Sorry, wasn't the wasn't what I was expecting. Um, <clears throat> you just almost swallowed glass. Yeah. Don't do that. That sounds painful. It, it is. It's not supposed to go that far. <laughs> do, we're good. Do you need help? No, we're good. Okay. No, we're good. We're great. We're. Super cool. What? Just let me know if that changes. All right, so they they left that that castle down there, the uh, the necromancer's tower. Um, they're probably not too far down down the mountain. Um, just scour the area. Be nice. All right, this is an invitation. And tell them that uh, that um, Kalamaya sent them, all right? Do, do your friends call you Callie or Kalamaya? Uh, they just know me as Callie. They don't. They don't. Okay. Um. 
Mm, that's that's fair. It's, it, I think you're almost saying my full name, and I'm not sure. I don't even know how you would know my full name because that's. You told me I'm, that first night when you introduced each other. I don't introduce myself with my full name. It's just Callie. Oh. I have no idea how I knew it then. Well, I, it's not even okay. Well, I I don't know where you heard it because that's nowhere close. But okay. Fair enough. That's all right. <laughs> that's the wrong name. You could just call me Callie. It's okay. I'll, I'll call you Callie. I don't. I heard it somewhere. I don't remember where. Um. Yeah. Just call. Just just call me Callie. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I'm sorry, Callie. So, tell them that Callie's... T t tell them that Callie's aren't you, okay? Just be nice. Oh, go! Go! Y your superior commands you! Whatever it takes, just go! <laughs> really, I, I want some time alone with it. Just... Okay. And so they, they finally are like, eye roll and they take off. <laughs> See, this is this is the 14-year-old with... with impeccable charisma <laughs> yep <laughs> meanwhile Callie's sitting at a nine so you know <laughs> we're we're doing our best <laughs> just, just trying oh boy this is so dumb you're so she, welcome she gets I'm a little helping. bit more bashful once they're gone she's like so um have you been it's been a few months uh-huh it felt like forever I couldn't find yeah. you I went back to the city but the, the fort you say we were staying at, no one was there. Yeah, we kind of... A lot of stuff happened. Um, I, we ended up meeting with a bunch of were-demons, and oh. one of them, like, knocked me out and kidnapped me, and oh, that's I was trying to escape, and then I wound it up with who I thought was a friend, who wasn't a friend, who put me in a jar, and it was and it was not a fun few months. I'll... She pulls you in for a really tight hug. Okay, we're hugging now. <laughs> I'm so glad you're all right. Yeah. I missed you a lot. And I missed you too. Oh. <clears throat> she kind of like um, holds you out. Yeah. Um, it's more blessed. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, we we should we should get going. Um, yeah, yeah. You're, um, yeah. Yep. Take my hand. I'll um I'll fly us there. Oh. It's <laughs> all right. I won't drop you. No, y'all never seen fire to Nazi blush. <laughs> it just gets blue. It just gets, blue. It just gets a little more blue. <laughs> She's gray, so it's like you can't. Well, she, I guess she becomes a little pink. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was She's thinking gray. like blue, kind of like how there's blue flame. Like that's her mm -hmm. hair. The, the, her, her her rockets kind of <laughs> heats up. <laughs> Become very red. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that's gonna be, you know, quicker, and you know, that's gonna um, make the the trip a little. She she that's the reason. Fidgeting. <laughs> she's fidgeting, <laughs> like with like some of her like glass tool. Like she's like like fidgeting with like the the pliers and everything. She's like, um, yeah, that's gonna make it efficient, and yeah, we could totally do that. Mm hmm. Yeah, we could we could um fly. Mm hmm. Flying's a weird thing to wrap my head around. Underground, great. Ground, great. Fine. Just Boat, hold, sure. Just hold my Sketchy, hand. Sketchy, sure. All right. You'll have to look down. 
hand holding. <laughs> Gonna trust you. She's also like a couple of years older, so this is like the high school freshman and the junior. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna trust you. She won't. She grabs her me. hand real tight, but not like to where it hurts. And her little bat like wings extend. And just start flapping, and it kind of takes her a moment to lift you both. But then she manages to to pull up, and uh, next thing you know, you're in the air. She We're airborne. She doesn't go more than like forty feet off the ground, just to make sure that you're comfortable with the the height. Best. Um, at least up until you get near the castle and then she starts climbing to a few hundred feet high to to get up the mountainside to the castle more quickly yeah she is a useless lesbian right now <laughs> <laughs> i feel that on the bottom of my soul i feel that <laughs> she's a completely useless lesbian right now she was just... by a few days ago now she's just you know what i don't remember name of that boy who asked me out but who cares about him <laughs> yeah i, mean, the I one... don't play i don't blame her well though. to be fair the boy who asked her out earlier gave her a filter of love and then uh siren was definitely like that's a drug like okay <laughs> oh yeah that's true <laughs> this, this boy just gave me drugs <laughs> he did. <laughs> That's true. And no. then he went missing in the bloodbath. Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, missing. Hmm. Hmm. Missing some limbs. Hmm. There's no body. No body, no crime. Exactly. No body, no so, crime. So, oh, um, yeah, uh, she pulls you up and uh, sets you on this balcony that juts out from this beautiful black almost obsidian like castle that's if you ever think of like a gothic castle this mm -hmm. is it and oh, this is nice. there, there, got the now spikes. there's more things that Cali can obsidian eat. gothic that is badass that is it's badass more, it's, got, it's got moats of lava around it it has oh well actually because it's on this like outcropping it has moats, a moat of lava around it that then is pouring down into lava waterfalls. Ooh. Yeah. Um, and it has, it has this, um, kind of like the, the ledge that it's out on kind of has an arch. So there's actually almost like a large kind of cave area underneath the outcropping that the, um, the castle's on. And in between the lava waterfalls. So there is technically a, a cave behind the waterfall of lava. Um, that oh, if you no. guys ever want to explore, feel free. Um, <laughs> she pulls you up this beautiful balcony. It's got like these black jagged spikes. But like they're like smooth to a point. It's not like... Um, Delicious. I shouldn't say jagged. I should say... It's jagged in that there's a lot of spikes and stuff in, on the walls. Um, but... Lots of intentional spikes, but it's they're intentional. Sharp and it's beautifully in clean. sculpted. Yeah, yeah, beautiful, clean, and it's basically lovely. rock candy to Cali because yeah, obsidian's glass. Right, that's true. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, she she sets sets you down up on the uh, up on the balcony, and she goes, "Well, um, this is my balcony. That's my room. We'll get you a guest room. Don't worry." Um. Already taking her to the room. Yeah. Yeah. Brushes, brushes uh, <laughs> her hair over. Her hair over eyes. Um, luckily, my father's gonna be away for a few days. Um, I he gets jealous whenever I'm seeing someone. He says it's not proper of a Thanks. princess to be dating. So, um, just. Don't worry, I have lots of hiding places. If he comes back early, I can always hide you. Um, but this will at least give you a few days to rest somewhere safe. And your friends somewhere to rest that's someplace safe. 
There's not many safe places on this continent. Yeah, so I've learned. And I've, I've never wanted to pun more in my life, but hot damn, you really are a princess. Yes. I guess I really didn't tell you much about myself that first night, did I? No, you really didn't, and I'm starting to think that I should have asked a lot more questions. Oh. Well, I am sorry about that. Yeah, I, I'm a princess. This is our castle. Um, a lot of servants. Very dangerous out there. A lot of demons prowling around and stuff. Um, so... A lot of undead, thanks to that stupid necromancer. Oh, uh, yeah, stupid necromancer is right. Um, <laughs> I got experimented on, and that was... Mm. Oh, right, Callie has a tail. Isn't that one of the experiment things? Is now Callie has a tail? Oh, yeah, Callie has a tail has a, Callie has a Charmander tail. <laughs> yep. Callie has a Charmander tail. I forgot about Callie that. Callie has a Charmander. Oh, no. A I Salamander. Can, I forgot about that. That, uh, I did that too. experiment, yeah. I did she too, too. Just not like she that. Goes, she kind of like peers around and goes, so is, is that where that came from? I didn't want to ask before. I thought maybe I just didn't notice that first night, but... Yeah, and then the blush gets darker. <laughs> now we're we're slow. We've been in like a nice like pink stage, and now we're slowly getting to red. You know, like when what happens whenever you like heat up metal and yeah. it's like slowly yeah. growing. Yeah, when you when you plunge and a lightsaber through a wall, essentially. Yeah, whenever it hits white, you should be worried. <laughs> <laughs> but right now we're still at a nice dark red. That's good. Yeah, that was part of the, 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 the experiment that uh, happened. It's, you know, it's great for balance, and I'm working to um, you know, fight with it. Right. Well. Oh yeah, I also got this thick accent since we last talked. Really? Yeah. Um, we have a training yard. Do you want to go show me what it does? I would love to. That sounds great. So as you two trot down these... The, the archway, the doors are these like tall... They're like eight foot tall arches. Each one. Oh, more than that, actually. I would say each doorway is like 12 feet tall. Like, they are high vaulted ceilings. The doors are very tall. They have come to, like, this almost cathedral-style uh, doorway arch. Um, any, t any door is just ridiculously tall and absurdly wide and very over-the-top, but very beautiful. Um, there are a few other various interesting-looking individuals walking around um they kind of give you a couple weird looks but then they see you're with Idris, so they just kind of like okay and go back to their own business um panning back to marcus and dahlia uh y'all are sitting at your camp now um you guys did find a nice cave uh to set up in Can you give me a perception check? Now you see, and that is when in the dream, I, when I was swimming, this giant serpent just came out of the ground. Out of the river, sorry. And I have no idea what the hell that was. That is a 17. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. I, I, 17 I as well. Oh yeah, twinsies. Woo. Your heads both turn as six winged creature things almost draconic in appearance land uh spears out but not threateningly are they demons <laughs> give me your religion check oh damn okay uh what is my religion let me actually look again because i know he's proficient in it i just don't know how proficient 
Fair enough. Uh, what the hell is religion? Oh, there it is. I'm so dumb. Okay, that's a unnatural twenty. Unnatural twenty. They're the not dirtiest demons. of twenties. They are not They're demons. What? They are not demons. They are devils, but they are not demons. Oh shit! Marcus immediately, as soon as you recognize that these are devils, just immediately just pops, pops up from where he's sitting, just pulls out the mace and the shield and is and just like stands from down and just get behind me right now. Just kind of peers around him. <laughs> she stands behind him, but she looks around. <laughs> <laughs> She's very tall. <laughs> um, is it? Isn't Dahlia like taller than Marcus though? Marcus yeah. is like six foot. She's six three. So yeah, yeah. she's a little lean. Yeah, a little lean. So lean. she can, she can <laughs> just kind of go. I can't. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Oh, it gets better because behind her you have uh the two skeletons going beep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I so, love how Marcus has unintentionally become the straight man of a comedy <laughs> of a comedy <laughs> fantasy show. Yep. Yeah. There's uh, always gotta be one. It's true. Marcus has become the Nick Miller. Yep, he is Nick Miller. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no, he's defending. <laughs> so uh <laughs> Yeah. Um they, they, uh, everyone else is like at the ready as well. Um, what languages do you speak? Common, celestial, dwarvish, and elvish. Hmm. It says something in a language you do not understand. <laughs> what language is it? Maybe I get it. Infernal. No. <laughs> so close. Oh, I mean, Marcus, Marcus recognizes infernal and abyssal because he's encountered plenty of them. Hell, he stopped the ritual. It is infernal. With it. You recognize it as infernal. You just have no idea what he's saying. He go, all right. He goes, does anyone speak infernal here? We got to find out why the hell these de devils are here. Great. Now I got to have a translator. Okay. Do I have one in the party that. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki. Do you have any tiefling at all? Many, there yeah, is any a tiefling in the party among the survivors. So, yes. Uh, this one guy steps forward and goes, um, yeah, I, I could do it. Um. I'd rather not, but here, what? Here, just come behind me, and I'll protect you if they try to hit you. All right. He inches behind you, so now you have four heads sticking out from behind you. <laughs> he's gonna, he's he goes, slowly becoming one of those like Bollywood effects. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yes. Plot twist: Marcus is a bard. His profession <laughs> is Bollywood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but anyway. Serious now. <laughs> well, Mark is serious. Uh, he'll uh, go ask him why the hell are they here? They're kind of like speaking. <laughs> Whatever that, that, that very guttural. Yeah. Snarly, breathy language. And they reply oh, wait, no. in turn. This... Did it, didn't we decide that Infernal is Latin? Yeah. We decided that? Huh. Well, with the thing. With it's the, a very the guttural Latin. It's Latin as spoken by a German. With a oh, <laughs> oh. oh, no. No, oh. it's Latin as spoken by a Russian. It's got to be deeper. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's Latin spoken from the throat. Yeah, yeah it's Latin from, like, spoken from the throat. throat. Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, anyway. Deep throat Latin. That sounds wrong. Um, <laughs> that does, yes. Don't and... deep throat your Latins. <laughs> I'm moving Ask on. first. <laughs> you guys are breaking me. Um... <laughs> So, yeah, the, uh, they, 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 yeah, yeah. Um, you can't converse for a minute. The guy's face goes from scared to concerned to confused to, huh? Um, and he finally turns to Mark and goes, uh, they are, uh, they're offering us an invitation to spend the week at their castle. Wait, what? Free of charge, room and board, etc. Uh, like, his... It's just his arms drop. Like, he's still holding the weapons. But he's just so shocked that he's just, like, <laughs> standing straight up. And I was like, uh, wait, what? That they like, seem as confused as me. Apparently, they're... I don't know, someone who's over them. Uh-huh. 
is friends with someone named Callie. And why is his voice slow? His his voice is turned into um. <laughs> Sorry, side tangent. His voice has become <laughs> Bill from The Last of Us, as played by uh, what's his name from Parks Nick and Offerman. Recreation. Yeah, he's become Nick Offerman. <laughs> Mark so, is just <laughs> now we we have a Nick Offerman tiefling in the party. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that was Perfect. not intentional, but it has apparently happened. <laughs> okay, so as he says this, like Dahlia and I assume everyone can see Marcus at this point. Just kind of looks and just sees him start to heavy breathe, like that heavy breathe, <laughs> like before a yell. He goes. <laughs> What? <laughs> and just loud ass yell that could be heard like outside of the cave. Oh, that's after, that, 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 after he says that, Dahlia just goes, Oh, he said that um, they are inviting you I... to the cat. And Callie's there, so I think we should go. <laughs> he just will turn around, just head pat Dahlia, and just look at the devils. <laughs> Just with like this look of just irritation and annoyance and anger and just like they can't understand common at all, I'm guessing. Uh not really, no. He goes like <laughs> and the translator, Nick Offerman, can hear the edge in his voice <laughs> as he says this. Alright. To ask them how the hell does Callie know their leader? Um, all right. Uh, let me let me ask them real quick. He turns and times us. So, uh, guys, um, <laughs> whatever. Um, he turns and goes, uh, they don't know. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> like, he is barely just keeping themselves together at this point <laughs> they um they did not want to seem rude and ask us not to inform her of this but they found it weird that she knew her it, okay hold on hold on hold the fuck and they on. think she's been sneaking out again wait who's been sneak cow oh yeah cowley no Oh, okay. No, that no, woman, they it... mean they're the the their leader. What? He he just kind of looks at them, knowing it. Like, wait, your kid does this too. <laughs> <laughs> your kid does this too. No, I swear. When I see Callie, I am gonna keep her in my sight. That little, that little candle. Just gonna... The little candle. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um, peace. He's saying, Cow Callie, what the fuck are you doing? All right. Calm making peace, it. calm and peace. <laughs> making and, connections. <laughs> and they can assure us that they have not harmed Callie anyway and do not intend to harm us in any way. Because we're speaking with freaking devils at this point. I'm just... <sighs> I, I will check with them on that. Marcus just has the interaction of Allie mm -hmm. and the... Arch right. devil just going through his brain. Uh, like, yes, uh, they they have not harmed her. They have no intention of it. And as we are under the protection of their mistress, they cannot do anything to us either. He is ruled insight, and that is that is awesome. That is a freaking natural twenty. So that is a twenty. Uh, what is it? Nine. That they is are, a twenty-nine insight. They are unable to harm you if their mistress has told them not to. He's just gonna stare at them, see that is true, and go to the group. He's right. They they don't want to harm us. Well, I don't Trust think me. it's a want to so much as they're not allowed to, therefore they can't. <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean. And and how do they intend to get us all there? Let me check with them. After conversing. Is, uh, they apparently have ways to fly us there. You know what? What the fuck? All right, let's do this. He's just gonna go off. Yeah, fuck it. To the demons, to the devils. Just go. 
<laughs> they they lead the party out of the cave, and waiting outside is one that has arrived with two very large creatures, winged, scaly things. Um, no. <laughs> they are not. Yeah. Um, Hot twist. Big enough for everyone to ride on. These these are not dragons. They are, I don't remember what they're called, but they're a big thing that has scales and wings. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Wyverns. Mar- mm, way bigger than that. Each one can carry about ten people. Mark is still Dragon holding bus. his shield and his uh, morning star in just the most pissed off fashion. Just walks up and just sits down. Just all right, everyone, come on. And he just eyeing these demons of just the the devils. Sorry, devils with like <laughs> the biggest look of annoyance. All right. So as uh, as they fly off. You guys are now headed to the castle as well. Uh, we pan over to the one I know Naz has been looking forward to. <laughs> Abigail Nazarian. Okay. Our former Dampier. Oh my god. Now human. Wow. Wizard. <laughs> Can you imagine? Once again, she has lost her staff. That's twice in one campaign now. She's lost what? Her staff. I think that is like on the lowest of the low <laughs> of her worries right now. Truly. Fair enough. I don't think she's even realized that. <laughs> yeah, the kids, half the kids like scream and run away when they see her and they get out of their respective tubes. A couple of them look like they're like ready to charge at her. Oh no, whatever will I do? <laughs> oh no, You're whatever not will that I do? Tall. <laughs> okay, I'm also not eight. <laughs> yeah, you are definitely like five two, so. Yeah, She's five five. And it's the ones that are okay. like 16, 17, 18, and bigger than her that look it's like they want to fight her. 17, 18, <laughs> Dragonborn, who are definitely <laughs> like capping out at like six five. <laughs> Okay, do it. I'll bite you. Wait. <laughs> Damn it. Wait. <laughs> Wait. What's wrong? You can't gum me? Um, 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 um. <laughs> okay, well, she has still has teeth, I think. <laughs> I mean, she, she does bite, but it's just not nearly as effective as it once was. Effective. It's like a sheep out biting of, you. Out of um, like, <laughs> habit and spite, she probably still does bite. I'm looking forward to seeing that. So yeah, um, you are staring, not at all lovingly, into the eyes of the woman who is holding you, uh, that you recognize as the one who you sacrificed earlier. She looks a few years younger than she did when you sacrificed her, though. Weird. Mm-hmm. She looks like she's maybe, like, 18, when she was, like, 30-something. A little younger, damn. Well, not 30 <laughs> something. She was like, um, let's see, hang on, let me do the math. Okay, she was in her late 20s, now she's in her late teens. A whole decade. God's no, I don't That's look like. still a lot younger. Yeah, it's a lot younger. <laughs> God knows, I don't look the same as I did a decade ago. Shit. Yeah, she looks a lot different. Her hair is, uh, there's no coloration change to it. It's like the back to the strawberry bond. I noticed. Yep. Long, <laughs> pulled back into the messy bond. I know, you don't have to tell me. I that, saw, yeah. I studied this person. Yeah, I bet you did. I bet you studied that character design. You know I, I did. I've drawn her, like, a number of times that I, I will not disclose. I did not know you drew her. <laughs> yes, you did. I sent it to hey, you. You gotta, you gotta draw your fictional version, girlfriend, yeah. man. I, I, Listen, I you need sent, to. God knows I have. I sent mm-hmm. it one version to you. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I thought you drew it just once. I know you've been drawn a bunch of times. Anyways, you always gotta draw your fictional girlfriend. Anyways, if I could, I would, but I can't draw. <laughs> Stick figure, and then squeeze the lips for the hair. There we go. Uh-huh. Perfect. Picasso. Just wipe that away exactly. so it's not in your face. Um. <clears throat> What do you want to do? 
What? Ha- okay. She just woke up. She's breathing. She can't stop breathing. She can, she can you try. Gotta, you gotta do that. You gotta do that pretty <laughs> regularly, unfortunately. She could try. She did try, and it didn't. Yeah, she, she's like, oh. yeah. Well, she just didn't start, and she was like, I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> what does she see around her? Around her is a lot more tubes. A lot. You're in some sort of underground cave room goes on for a while there are a number of other individuals in this cave a lot of kids a lot of kids that you don't recognize not my fault then not (laughs) my fault then (laughs) i am exempt from this crime here (laughs) i may kill these kids just these ones not even my fault i am guiltless Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. How did she pull me up, or is she holding me up? She is kind of supporting you, so you don't fall all the way down. Okay. So I was gonna say, if she's not supporting me, she'll fall again. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um. She pulled you up, and she's now holding you. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Jeez, I don't... Is Micah okay? We've broken it. (laughs) Abigail is kind of like... I mean, she's half panting, half trying not to breathe. (laughs) She's kind of (laughs) like... I don't know what to do with this. She's like... She didn't... I was trying to open the... I th- I don't know where she went. But but is she okay? I don't know where she is. Okay. Did, did the ritual work? Is she alive? didn't work, but she's alive. What do you mean it didn't work? There's something wrong. Okay. What? What? Like, like what's wrong with her? She wasn't as she was. She wasn't remembering anything. She wasn't well. But she's alive. That's good. That's a start. That's a good start. Um, Okay. what happened to you um i wasn't actually expecting you to wake up here what is here um here is a uh, kind of a safe zone for us um i think i think i should probably let him explain it um She's like sniffing back tears. Trying to be okay. I'm I'm Why are you putting my mean character here? <laughs> I suffer for your sins. Ah! I'm suffer for your face I'm your not... consequences. Right. Ah! I'm glad she's okay. If I have to do this shit, so do you. (laughs) 
Abigail is like she's not she's typically like always aggressive eye contact cocky smile she's looking down she's not making any <laughs> eye contact she is like <laughs> anti-autistic guilt for the <laughs> right first now- <laughs> time in my life yeah she's like what? looking down she's not making eye contact she's like oh shit <laughs> fantastic yeah um, <laughs> she turns around and goes Thomas, did you go tell? Did you? Did you... Sorry, sorry. And he, yep, yep. And this this boy who's like maybe like thirteen years old comes back. You've never seen him before. He's Children. Yep, I um yeah I told him. Uh, he's uh, half elf. Um, kind of tussled dark brown hair. What's up? Maybe like um. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> kind of like a lot, light olive skin, lot of freckles. Um, he's like, yeah, yeah, uh, I, I, I told him, uh, he should be right down here. Oh gosh. I really hate this. Um, yeah, I'm, he just kind of like mutters something to himself and walks off. Sorry about Thomas. He's still, um, he's still getting used to everything. I don't understand. Uh, understandable. Well, perhaps I can explain it to you. Uh, familiar voice kind of echoes behind you um, as coming in from a hallway that was kind of off to the side is a uh, old wizard. Uh, he's Elvin. Uh, white hair, short, white, uh, well-trimmed, white beard. Um, Women. Mm-hmm. He's got a, his very nice staff. It's Alberion. The one who dipped out when the fort was attacked, saying he had to go check on something, make sure everything was in place. Suspicious. Very Suspicious. He's checking on things, all right? His where, tubes. Where, where the... where Milo needs you. Where the fuck are you, Baryon? He's here, checking on tubes. <laughs> checking on tubes. <laughs> I'm glad to see you alive and well, Abigail. Although, um... I understand there are a lot here who feel differently. Very alive. There have been... Very alive. Some troubling tales about you, young lady. That have come out... <laughs> over the Sorry. last few months. I am sure you have a plethora of questions, so I'm all ears. What is this place? What's going on? I... Right, so that first night on the beach, I took the liberty of collecting a few samples from everyone and I've spent the last few months growing clones what? just in case uh, any of us met an untimely end above ground um, there are a number here unfortunately like Thomas over there who were killed before their clones reached full maturity so the poor man is stuck in a child's body again until he ages up um some others uh, managed to make it, like you, until your body had at least reached adulthood, so that's that's good. So me and uh, my two apprentices here have been tending to this place for the last few months, making sure that everyone is taken care of, well-fed, that this place remains secure, uh, just in case the other clones are needed. She kind of like looks at her hands and she's like, this isn't a clone. Yes, it is. No, 
it's not. If you're referring to your undead nature that you had before, I'm afraid scars, markings such as um, any any markings that weren't there at birth. Do not translate over into the clone. Um, sta statuses of undeath also do not translate. It grows a living body. I do not have the ability to grow undead. So it may not be an exact representation of, of what you had before, but... Not the representation at all. <laughs> Well, I am sorry that it is not to your liking, but hey, you're alive. This got to count for something, right? She starts crying. Oh. <laughs> she she doesn't like saw. It's just like tears, but mm -hmm. she doesn't say anything to that. She's like, um. That's not like that comment. <laughs> Dolores gives her a very tight, comforting hug. It's like, shh, it's it's okay. You can you can let it out. It's all right. It's all right. And Alberian just kind of goes, um, if you need a minute, that's that's okay. I'll be I'll be right here. And he just kind of waits quietly, patiently. She kind of like stiffens a bit, and she's like, "Why are you?" Being so nice to me. Who hurt her? <laughs> um, I'm not treating you any differently than I am the others. I I don't understand your issue with that. Are you okay? <laughs> Can't wait. Did she not remember? <laughs> because I might be best not to remind her if she doesn't remember. <laughs> What do you mean? Dolores. <laughs> no, she remembers everything. Okay, because no I was going to say... No memory problems at all. Okay, I was going to say... No, if, she, one. We're fine. If, she, if she doesn't remember me, I will bring it up. It's... Oh, that's true. She mentions ritual, duh. Um... Oh, no, Dolores goes, um, I, I think she's talking to me, Albarian. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that was all Yeah, the voice was like this, not like this. So <laughs> I didn't hear. <laughs> um, because you're looking out for my Micah, and that means the world to me. Marco, we can't do this to you. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it! Stop it! Welcome to sadness. No. Yep. I but can't do that. it's a happy sad. Yeah, but <laughs> I have the emotional stability of like a Jenga tower at the very last round. Hey. <laughs> I, we, understand I, we understand you. We understand you. You can't do this. Uh, you, know, you did not see our reaction to the end game. Not this game chat, but the other game chat. But you did not see our reactions. I like. Oh, oh! I I had to cuddle a pillow for a few days. <laughs> was it was it whenever she was restored? Because I felt have been holding on to that for like a month. <laughs> yeah. And every time, I'm just like, Markham cursed me with knowledge, and I can't say anything. Sorry. <laughs> we hear that one a lot. This one, I didn't <laughs> curse anyone with knowledge, and I've been hanging on to it for like six months. Oh, <laughs> That's God. true. No, wait. When did we start the campaign? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Abigail, can you give me a history check? Uh, I can. Listen, I am... <laughs> Not 20. Not 20. How is her yeah. mind working right now? Um, I don't know. In this, like, influx of emotions, you're freaking out. Dolores is being nice to you. Albarian apparently cloned you. He cloned. You know how cloning works. You need a bodily sample, but, like, a decent amount. Like an entire finger or, oh, 
you have this vivid memory of dreaming of someone chopping off your finger in the middle of the night that first night on the beach and hey, you remember yo. waking up and being like nope my finger's still there what's that but the pain what? was so real there you can't do that and he kind <laughs> of can't. like starts to click Albarian spent that first night going around cutting off and regrowing everyone's fingers to gain the needed samples. Sure, you can just do that. That's fine. <laughs> that's all right. You're not positive, but you're pretty sure that's what happened. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> and you're like, okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Level 20 wizard, guys. <laughs> Yeesh. <laughs> With a pair of scissors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, no. No. I hate needles. I hate the concept of someone cutting off a part of me even worse. It's okay. You were all asleep for it. Everyone slept That the doesn't checks. make it better. <laughs> that, that makes it significantly that, worse. That makes it like serial killer levels of worse, Albarion. <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, it's fine. It was just in case we died. And um... Apparently a lot of you have. There's a good 40-something people in here. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, well, yeah freaking weird devil bullshit. More than that, you got that first fort as well. So there's a lot of oh, kids true. because they didn't have time to fully mature. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> there's a bunch of people who are like in their late 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, etc. And all of a sudden they're 12. <laughs> so. They have to go through puberty. Aren't again. you guys glad? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, really no one is. <laughs> that and been... Abigail wakes up in a nine year old body. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. <That's... gasps> I yeah, hate wait. kids wakes up. She's like, oh no. <laughs> that would be the most fitting punishment, though. Abigail trapped in the body of a nine year old. Well, I think being human is also very, very up there. Mm -hmm. Do both. Why not both? Do yeah, both. It would have been both. <laughs> uh, she's going to um, absorb all this information. And I mean, she's her, her done new some... suspicions about Albarian as well. She has no yeah. way to prove it, but it is no, suspicion. She's done some way more questionable things than that, so she's like, respect. Um... <laughs> well, that's a good point. Respect. respect. <laughs> she's like, All right, fair, fair. Well played. <laughs> um, she's gonna because I think she never ever deciphered who Dolores was. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she killed her. <laughs> so she's gonna, yeah, she's just gonna turn to Dolores and be like, "What? What do you mean, you're Micah? Who? I I don't understand." Um, uh, back before her death, we um. We were sort of an item. Reflex. Reflex. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna like, kind of like put her like that, and she's like, "Why was that not the first words to come out of your mouth?" It it didn't seem relevant at the time. Is this relevant? I wouldn't have killed someone my sister liked. I'm okay, so... The demon only had me for a few seconds, and, um... It wasn't pleasant, but... Well... Oh, no, it was a whole day, wasn't it? Ooh. I really want to forget that. But it's okay. I'm here now. You're here now. We're okay. You know that you say that. And I don't deserve for you to say that. Uh, 
everyone deserves someone to say that. Let's see what she'd like to. Is she gonna gesture to all the kids that are squaring up? <laughs> <laughs> the squaring up. Oh, why don't you ask them hey. what they think? <laughs> kids, knock it off. Okay, she's been through a lot. So have knock they. Knock it off. They kind of like look back and forth and like grumble, but they they listen and they kind of disperse. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's good of you to notice that they've been through a lot. They've been through a lot because I sacrificed them. It's a good start. I mean, recognizing her faults. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're doing okay, all right? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. What I'm trying to say is it's all forgiven in my book. So don't be so hard on yourself. She's going to kind of look at her for a little bit, like a little bit disbelief, a little bit like, are you serious right now? <laughs> and She's going to kind of try to stand on her no her own and she's going to say something. <laughs> something smart. Even Naz is at a loss for words. This is fantastic, smart. guys. <laughs> something smart. This is how you know you're done good. <laughs> a mood. A mood. She, yeah. <laughs> she says something. I'm kidding. She's going to say... Something um, gay? No, mm. not something gay. Right. I'm gay. <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect time. Time and place. <laughs> no. Um, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, it's over now, so you can think what you want to think. I guess we're still on Gishel. We are. So, I mean, like, as uh, well, I don't know if that portal is still open, but you got a portal open? Shit, mm -hmm. yeah. That's but Micah's with Tistin. That might be not good. It should be in that castle. We can figure the, it out. The portal, she saw the portal go to Adania, right? How? Yeah. It was like walking distance to her home? More or less, yeah. Okay. It was at least in a part of the country that she recognized. Okay, okay. It wasn't like in the backyard or anything? Right. Okay, okay. We would still probably be able to use it if it's still up. Alright, that's that's a good start. Do 
It's a really good start. All right, and she kind of branches off to wherever. <laughs> she just like peels away. Yeah, <laughs> she's still being she's held up. <laughs> no, she tried to. She 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 pulls away and she tries yeah. to go somewhere. I don't know if she can stand if she has to make a check or whatever. Yeah, you can stand. Yeah, I can stand. Cool. She Are goes somewhere, standing? takes a direction, and goes. She just starts walking down the hall. There's only mm -hmm. one hall. Okay. <laughs> She'll walk down it. Um, as you walk down, Albarian kind of like, um, I'll go follow her, and uh, kind of like f follows Abigail down, making sure she doesn't bump into anything, making sure no one attacks her. Um, feel the love. <laughs> yeah. Um, down the hall, it kind of branches out into a couple other like sections of the cave that has been heavily renovated into um kind of like training rooms and stuff like that and then you see like this set of stairs and um they're very nice ornate stairs actually And as you go up the stairs, all of a sudden the rough walls of the cave turn into this, like, beautiful mansion. Mahogany baseboards along the floor, kind of like red, um, like a burgundy red carpeting, um, marble flooring and other parts of it, uh lovely lovely wooden walls exposed wood beams very beautiful design high ceilings as you get up here there are a number of individuals just kind of like waiting there for you uh they're kind of ghost-like in appearance kind of uh ethereal see-through they don't really have feet they just kind of because kind of tapers down they just kind of float around and they like they, they go right up to you and like, how may we have be of assistance to you? What? Would you like something to eat? Uh, would you like to be shown to your room? How may we be of assistance to you, uh, Miss um, Abigail Nazarian? Right? Just Abigail. What is this? How may we be of assistance to you, Miss Jess Abigail? <laughs> what? No. Nothing. Um, I, um, I apologize for them. Uh, this is a, it's a spell I have set up, don't worry. Uh, we are all safe inside a mansion I have constructed. Um, only beings that I have permitted can come in or out. Um, I cast permanence on it, so it's not going anywhere. It's normal, only a day, day-long thing. It's a little bit straining on me, though. Um, but it is stable. So, uh, feel free. There is a kitchen down there. Um, excuse me, uh, if you four could stay with her and protect her... Uh, she's got kind of a bad reputation with some of the others here. I need you to make sure no one tries to do anything to her. Um, don't you worry about a thing. You'll be able to settle in here right as rain, all right? Um, and I will look into what you were saying about the um, about that portal. That could be very helpful. A number of portals have opened up all around the place, and uh, a lot of individuals from various places have spilled out into the surrounding areas. Very dangerous. So I will have to be careful, but I will go and investigate that. In the meantime, you stay here, you rest up, you eat, and um, I will be back with news soon, all right? Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Why do you want to know? Because I want to exit... 
why would you want to do that? You have no way of defending yourself. Well, I have to go back to the castle. I just told you it's it's not safe out there right now. I'll be fine. All right. But I don't have another spare for you. Could I have another finger? I could grow a spare clone. No. All right. Um, it's your life, then. Last one. Don't waste it. You can come with me, all right? Um, I'll show you to the door, but I first need to pack real quick, and then we can be on our way. You just wait. All right. Uh, he goes up and packs. Um, one of his assistants packs as well. And as they prepare to depart with Abigail in tow, that is where we'll leave off for tonight. Oh, I didn't even get to yell at Callie. No, I figured that was going to be a very long scene, so we're going to start oh, next week with that. Fair enough. You know, Marcus is pissed. Marcus is beyond pissed at this point. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Outros, starting with the longest one of all, Micah. Not Micah. Micah's not, not here. Even... Micah's not, not one here. of them. Naz. Yes. Micah's not here. Out Buddy. of all the characters Naz yeah. has, Micah's not one of them. Right Micah now. and Naz are essentially the same person. We all know this. <laughs> I I mean, I said that Micah sounded like Naz like a week uh, ago. And fair enough, never enough. Mildly similar. I'm Naz. I play Abigail and Dahlia. We got her saying Gotta make her words. outdoors longer by making her play more characters. <laughs> and Micah, sometimes, not yeah. now. Some, sometimes oh, Micah. that's the longest sometimes. outro yet. Ah, look at me. I'm doing Improving. stuff. Uh, Matt? Matt, play your ever, uh, ever questioning his sanity, Cleric Marcus. <laughs> and, yeah, he has become... What's that dude from Not Gone Girl? New Girl? New Girl? Nick Miller? Nick Miller, that guy. He has become the Nick Miller of the group. And I don't know whether that's good or not. I've barely seen New Girl. so It's a good show. I need to watch it. I know. Lastly, our big plug master. <laughs> master of plugs. It's me. It's faceless right now, Selkie. And I am... Selfie to the internet. I'm Callie in the Lost Continent. And I called chaos on purpose. Um it's you too. Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> I delight in it. What is it that what is it that um Terry started calling it? Suck nanigans. Suck nanigans. Suck nanigans. Suck nanigans. It's a great time. I enjoy doing it. It makes me happy. Um now for the plug time. You can catch me, Naz, and our DM tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You can catch us tomorrow at where we're going to be players. All of us are going to be players in the Legend of Kralis game um, right here on Dan Denial. So hang around for that where things are happening. Shenanigans are problems are happening. Chaos is doing. We're almost trusting each other again, I think. We're getting there. We're we're on mutual mutual like we're not gonna Hatred. kill each other outright. Yeah. Right. We're not gonna kill each other outright. But we finally made it to Doc Chow, so see how what it happens see how that happens unfolds and the glory to us happens tomorrow. The exciting things. Um, as always, hang out here on the engine Isle. They have a ton of games played like almost every day of every week. So if you want to get in your mostly D and D time, they have the A one adventures on Monday on Tuesday. They have something new. Actually, I think the Emerald city that sounds right. Something along those lines. Uh, the Emerald city. No, no. Uh, state of the union. I thought state of the union got canceled. Anyway, it did. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Tuesday. Don't know there's now. something happening. It's I don't know what it is. Tuesday. 
something happening on Tuesday. We take a little bit of a break on Wednesdays. Uh, you can meet us back here next week for, um, I almost said Legend of Gishale, and that's not what this is. <laughs> <laughs> the, Lost <Continent. laughs> the Lost Continent. The Lost Continent. Oh, <laughs> State of the Union takes place in the Emerald City. Got it. We were both right. Mm-hmm. Look at us and then back skills. again for Legend of Kratos on Friday. Um, yeah, I think that's all the plugs. Come check us out on TikTok. We do some things sometimes. Yeah. Markham. All right. Take it away. I am your dungeon master, dungeon lord, Sinead and Sovereign, etc. Um, Mr. Markham on pretty much everything. Uh, yeah, we will be back again tomorrow night. Not our group, but like three of us as players in Legends of Kralis. So catch mm-hmm. us then. Um, there's a lot going on here. So pretty much any any night of the week for the most part, you can catch a, catch a different game. Um, thank you for joining us. And we'll see you guys next week. Stay lost, everybody. And, stay um, lost. Stay safe. Stay yeah, so lost. Be lost. Yep. Be crazy. Don't even.